A Leo. My mom's a Leo. <laughs> I'm doing a seven card um, May Tara guidance. So, um, can I have two recent past energy for Leo, please, Spirit? Can I have two recent past? Energy for Leo, too recent past. Energy for Leo, please, Spirit. Too recent past. Energy for Leo, please. And I'm, I'm using the um, right away tarot miniature deck and also my sister is a Leo <laughs> my sister is a Leo <laughs> um, can I have three clear messages spirit divine source spirit universe elements God God is mighty creator three clear messages for the month of May for Leo Three clear messages for the month of May for Leo, please. Wake up, little Susie, wake up. Okay, can I have two advice for the month of May for Leo, please? Two advice, one more advice for the month of May for Leo, please. One more advice for Leo for the month of May, please. Just so you know, I shuffle like crazy off deck, off camera, the deck off camera. So, um, don't you worry even if I don't do that fancy stuff. Leo, did a Virgo. So, we have the King of Pentacles for your recent past and the Queen of Swords. Did a Virgo, um... Capricorn or Taurus offer some um, kind of offer to you, Leo? Did an offer come in from some form of earth sign, Virgo, Libra, or Capricorn? Some of you might have gotten an offer, or some of you might have gotten an offer, a very um, tangible offer from some firm or some, you know, even in, in a relationship. So, um, the Queen of Spades is saying that um, some of you might have taken on the, um, the energy of being um, someone who just come in with some truth to someone important to you. Or you've been speaking your truth more, you know. Or be detaching yourself from some things, Leo. Or someone might have came in with some truth, you know. Possibly. So let's see what we have for the month of May. What's going to happen for you, Leo? Let's see what's possible. Yeah, so we have the Nine of Cups and we have the Queen of Cups and we have the Emperor. So Leo, it's possible that for the month of May that you'll be more self-reliant. You'll be increasing your wealth. 
you know, po possibly more in love with yourself too. You might have spiritual growth, even sensual pleasure. Whatever sensual means to you, you might be having some sensual pleasure. You might be all in love with yourself, Leo. What's up with that for the month of May? And that's a good thing, you know. You want We want to be more dependent on self, not codependent on others to fulfill our desires or whatever. We appreciate help, but we want to be more dependent on ourselves, you know. So you might be increasing your wealth. It's possible you might be increasing your wealth for the month of May and increasing your... um. Your spiritual growth. You might be having spiritual growth. And the Queen of Cup. You might be getting more in touch with your sensitive side, Leo. It's possibly you might be get it, feeling in love. Or someone might be in love with you. Or you might be holding back who you're in love with. Holding back expressing yourself to someone you're in love with. It's possibly your intuition might heighten, Leo. For the month of May. It's possibly you might... Have heightened psychic development, heightened intuition for the month of May. You know? It's possibly you might be more expressive on an emotional level too. So Leo, it's either you're going to have someone who is very firm, you know, strong, experienced, accomplished, you know, coming to, to assist you with your life or join forces with you. Or you will be this emperor on your, sh you know, not taking shit from nobody. And also being firm, you know, and accomplishing and gathering more things that you need to gather for your life. And being stern, you know. So, let's see the advice we have for Leo for the month of May. We have the Four of Cups. And we have the nine. We have the nine of cups. So, so for some of you, Leo, you might be um refusing a love offer. You know. You might be refusing a love offer, or you might be feeling lost where love is concerned. You know, but don't be in despair. Everything happens for a reason. Or you might just be hibernating and thinking to make the right choice. You know, not ready to make a choice to be stable. Resting, you know. Or they, there just might be a special offer being guided to you for the month of May, Leo. So for some of you, you will have that Ten of Cups. You'll have that fulfillment and joy in family relationship. You'll have that happiness. You know, you'll have that go ahead on plans you've been um, delaying. And you'll be joining force and being happy. You know, you'll have that fulfillment in your heart. You'll have that accomplishment. You know, you, you, you'll find yourself being more happy and wealthier for the month of May. Yeah, Leo, so that's your reading. I bid you high vibration. You know, I bid you healing, healing, healing. Uh, if it's your first time watching, welcome. Do come again and subscribe and like and peace. Thank you for watching.